Hey everyone, today I went to Bath and Body Works. They're having two for 20 on their 14.5 ounce candles. I picked up six of the new spring scents. The sale is going on till the 23rd, so if you want to try any of these out, definitely go grab them now. I could only pick up six. I'm going to be going to a Yankee outlet next week, so I wanted to behave a little bit with this. Um, I tried to mix it up a little bit with some um, fresh and fruity and even the grassy floral types. They did not seem like they were ready to have a 2 for 20 sale at the store I went to. It's the smaller one. They had all the grassy floral ones out. They had a whole display of those. But the other ones didn't seem like they had a lot of. Um, they were actually burning Coco Lobo in there. And I did not... I didn't even smell it. So, um, obviously, I didn't think it had a strong throw. But I'm not a real big coconut person. Like coconut water, Aloha Vanilla, I think, has coconut in it. And then co co Coco Lobo. Um, I just wasn't interested in any of those. They didn't have sea spray. But they did have Seaside Escape. But I believe that's a scent from last year. I did try to stay away from those because I already have some. And I wanted to share the new ones with you. So these are the first ones that I've picked up. Paradise Daiquiri, White Palm, Jungle Kiss, Bahama Fizz, Green Grass, Sunrise Lagoon. Paradise Daiquiri was actually mixed in with Caribbean Escape, so this was the only one I could find. And the bottom says, a raspberry twist on a classic pina colada, made with dark rum, and sweet orange topped with coconut cream and warm vanilla. Sorry, I kind of trying to watch my screen on the on the camera. All right. This to me does not smell like a piña colada. So I know it says that it's a twist on that. I'll actually have to burn this to see if that comes out at all because I don't get any kind of coconut really. I do get a, a sense of dark rum. It does smell like a daiquiri. Um, I get a lot of, like, a berry scent, but it's not, I, it's not really telling me that it's raspberry. I'm sure it is because it is kind of tart. It's nice. I like it. I will definitely burn this probably first just because I'm excited for it. All right. I do like tropical drink scents. I'm not so much with the coconut. So all of those scents that they have, even though these have coconut in them, it's not, it wasn't strong enough to make me want to put it back. All right, next is White Palm. And this one's interesting. It says, like a warm Caribbean breeze, refreshing white palm leaves and dewy greens combine perfectly with sweet peach blossoms. And this actually smells like it's like cologne or perfume. It's not, it's not going to knock you over. I can't quite think of what, what scent it reminds me of, but it's, it's like on the tip of my tongue, but I don't remember what it is. I do get some sweet floral, like a, like the peach blossom, like it lists, but I, you know, I, if I just opened this, I wouldn't think that it smells like something else. I'm definitely excited to burn this because I think this would be a great scent for like my master my master bedroom that's pretty large. So if it is strong, it will be able to fill the room and hopefully it tones down a little bit when it's spreading out in the room. Um, I'm I'm anxious. I can't wait to burn these. Probably we'll put this in the guest room for now just to see how it is and to see how the throw is. And if I think of what it reminds me of, I will let you all know on Twitter or Facebook or even on the blog. I'm very excited to have these two, though. So, so far, I've, I like these two. And I'm going to talk about Jungle Kiss next. This was actually something different than I thought it was going to be. These labels crack me up. I, I just, I don't really care for them, but... Okay, I'm not making them. An exotic jungle blend of spicy tiger lily kissed with the sweetness of juicy peach, cream, creamy sandalwood, and fresh coconut. 
sorry, my I know my camera is not really good with the focusing right now. Now, I get, this is actually what a summer evening would smell like for me. Um, it's floral and it, something, you know, it says spicy tiger lily. And that's what it kind of reminds me. Like it smells like a, just like a, like a floral with hints of these other notes. But I like coconut. I'm not getting any coconut from that. So I'm, I'm excited to see what that's like and what everybody else has to say. Now you have to remember I'm not a floral person, so I don't really describe them that well. But I'm excited. I'm trying. I'm going to give them a try. All right, next, Bahama Fizz. This one says, refreshing and delicious, a sparkling cocktail of fresh kiwi, island banana, in orange flower infused with spiced rum. So it sounds good. I get banana. I get just. I don't really pull out. Well, I do get a little kiwi, but I don't get any orange flower. It actually smells like orange juice. And maybe that's the spiced rum then. I'm, I'm not sure what exactly. It's kind of all mixed in there, but it, it smells like a fruity drink. So I'm excited to try that, especially in the kitchen. That'll be nice, I think. I'm just hoping that these all burn well as far as the wicks. I have not had any problems, but I know people will have um, drowning wicks. Um, wax pool won't go all the way across. So I'm, I'm just hoping that they kept the same wicks that are in mine into these. Like I have one of Kitchen Spice. I can't even pull the plumes off because the wick is so, it's so stiff. It won't come off. All right, I'm gonna skip green, gra green grass here. I'm gonna go to Sunrise Lagoon. And I know that you can't see this color probably all that well, but it is awesome. It's like a teal blue green color. And it's just, <laughs> I love it. Although those wicks don't look all that great right there. Those actually look kind of flat. Oh well, anyway. This is an interesting scent. It says, like the sunrise. Hold on, I'm waiting for it. There we go. On the, like the sunrise on a tranquil lagoon. An uplifting blend of juicy melon and citrus layered with sweet wild jasmine and pink peony. I definitely get flowers, but it's sweet. I don't know how, how jasmine and everything will mix together, but it really does smell good. And you know, I'm shocked that I have so many florals here. But that's really what they had. I mean, it wasn't, you know, not a big deal. I am planning on trying them all anyway. This is actually pretty nice. If you like citrus and you like sweet flowers, then I think that you would like this. Because it's, but I, I think it might be light. I'm going to have to melt this or burn it and see how the throw is because when I take that top off, I can barely get anything from it. Okay, last but not least, green grass. Let's see if I can get it up there. Refreshing as shaded grass on a warm sunny day. Dewy, dewy greens and wire lemon infused with lily of the valley and a touch of jasmine. Now, the other ones that they had, had daffodils in them and daisies. So it was kind of in a water note to it. So I was kind of torn between this and I can't even remember, remember what that was. Was it spring? It might have been. But I went with this instead. This is really nice. I love water notes, and that's what I'm getting. I guess the dewy greens, that's what that water note might be, but 
It smells so good. Now, I'm not sure how this compares to green grass from Yankee because I've not gotten green grass from Yankee yet. But as soon as I as soon as I am able to do a review on those, then I will let you know what the difference between them is. But that's my six, and out of all of them, really the only one that's super, well, the only ones that are really fruity would be Paradise Daiquiri and Bahama Fizz. So I will be going back and getting more and getting different, um, different scents. I know they have a pineapple, I think it's Pineapple Punch, and they had some other ones too, but I just wanted to stay away from coconut and pineapple. When I burn pineapple, it can kind of make me a little nauseous so I stayed away from it but if you like pineapple they do have a scent that you might want to try now before I am finished here you know make sure you get your candle instructions um, I'm gonna guess there was a problem and that's why they have to give that out now they do give you a free shipping on $25 or more yay because that's what I always want is the shipping for less than 50 and then I got a free signature collection item of my choice yada yada with the fine fragrance mists I don't really use the fragrance mist so I'm not too worried about it and I was invited to the Valentine's Day party which will be on February 11th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I do believe you get a little gift yep there it is right there on the back it's a little bag it's cute it's got, I think, Japanese cherry blossom, which is not my favorite scent, so I'm probably going to skip out on this one, even though I think the bag is wicked cute, but I don't need any more. So that is everything. Um, I was supposed to have another box today, but oh well. Whenever it comes in, I will share it with you. I am getting ready to go and record my collections videos, so stick around and hopefully they'll be up tonight as well. And until my next video, take care.